What's up everyone, Criddle here, and I want to talk about the patch that we did finally get yesterday. This is the much anticipated Unity 6 patch that came out. Uh, it was supposed to happen at 12 Pacific or 3 p.m. Eastern. Uh, it actually didn't happen until closer to 4.30, uh, and a lot of people kind of lost it over that. The the chat down here uh, and the discussions, Pantheon discussions, was going absolutely bananas. You know, we need to be a little bit understanding. We need to be a lot of bit understanding. They're updating from one uh, from Unity 5 up to Unity 6. That's a big change on their end that they're trying to push out to our end. Uh, I know it has been over a week since that patch was supposed to be out, uh, you know, but we need to also understand that these are also people too, and they're working very hard to try to get that out to us. Um, that said, uh, Savanja over here did, you know, make a little bit of light of it. Like all times are estimates. Calm down, yo. Uh, I, I thought that was good that uh, they're, they're trying to take it all in stride. It's, it's definitely a stressful situation for them, uh, but the patch finally did happen and it was pushed out to us. Uh, and, I actually had a lot of fun with it. We're going to go over a little bit of that here in a minute. Uh, I also want to note down here is as the night went on, uh, they did make some posts down here about some a few things like they're expect to see some visual glitches in this patch. Be sure to share any bugs uh, in the bug reporting channel of bugs e, uh, EA4, which is right down here all the way down at the very bottom. You can post those bugs right down there. Um, from Kyle, adjusting the shadow distance will improve or degrade the quality. If someone is getting shimmering, shimmery shadows, they can reduce shadow distance in the graphics menu. Uh, and then all the way down here at the very bottom, we have, uh, we are aware of some duplication on, on corpses upon death. If you are unable to loot or res a corpse, try logging out and then back in. Do not loot multiple corpses this will cause inventory glitches and we do not refund coins and items if this happens i you know they're not saying it here but this would be a dupe situation and if it happens you, there's a chance that your account could get flagged suspended or banned so be very very careful on that on logging in, one of the first things that I noticed was the lighting changes. I was actually at the entrance to Hounir Cave, uh, and I was able to walk in and out of this cave. You can see outside of the cave now, which is kind of cool, uh, but there is still a little bit of jankiness with the lighting, so hopefully we are able to work on that a little bit as we keep going forward. Um, I also did check out uh, adding in new abilities. Uh, at first, I couldn't get it to work, but apparently you have to click directly on the actual skill icon to equip it down in your hotbar. Uh, you cannot just click on the verbiage next to the icon. Uh, I thought I remember doing that, but apparently that is not the case. We uh, did meet up over in the, the new EP area to check out some of these knolls. Uh, this was around the 2500, negative uh, 600 mark. Uh, there's a giant entryway into this mountainside. There are a lot of different random entrances into this specific dungeon. Uh, we chose to just climb this cliff, however, uh, on the outside because a friend found a named on the inside. So we decided to climb the side of the cliff to scale up to them uh, and get to the named. The mob in question was called Razor Fang. We were able to take it over here into a corner and take it down fairly easily. Keep in mind, though, that our group is level 36 to 40, so these mobs are not very challenging to us. If you are in uh, a lower end range around the, the high 20s, this may be a lot more challenging to get. Uh, after we took it down, we did get Adamant Shackles, which are chain wrists that have 16 armor, 1 strength, 2 stamina, 1 dexterity. Um, and which, you know, I would say that these are on par with the items that you get from Hangor. We did find another named all the way at the top of this particular mountain that we were in called Wyken. Uh, another group was able to take that one down and they got, uh, some caster, caster helmet that had, I believe two wisdom, two intelligence and nine dodge ratings. So you can kind of get an idea of the quality of loot you're going to be getting from the named in this area based on that, but there probably are some really rare, unique, amazing drops. During the remainder of the evening, we did check out this dungeon, and it is very large. Uh, it's a vertical dungeon. You can climb way up high. You can also go very far down low, uh, and there's a lot of little nooks and crannies that you can kind of squeeze your way into. Uh, a lot of enemies to fight, so I definitely recommend coming over here and checking it out. 
I do want to mention that we did have several crashes throughout the evening. Everyone in my party, in fact, crashed at least one time uh, where the game completely locked up on them and they had to force close it uh, and re-log back in. I did have uh, this happen to me one time through the evening and uh, I almost died to some gnolls that were just pathing around. So be very careful over the next couple of days. I do not know exactly what caused this, uh, but hopefully someone can figure that out so that we can have a resolution uh, or maybe we'll get a patch to fix that soon. On a positive side, we did notice a lot of visual changes in spells and abilities, as well as a lot of those icons. This really made uh, the combat pop a little bit more. There were a few missing assets, so if you see like these purple, pinkish uh, looking blocky things, that's probably because an asset is missing somewhere in uh, your game files, uh, and hopefully this is resolved soon. But overall, the visual effects of the game are much nicer after this update. Overall, we enjoyed exploring this area and hope that things continue to grow in this way. I would say a bit more decoration or visual flair would be nice in the future, uh, but this is a fantastic start. Anyway, that's it for me. I will be streaming and playing more of this area over the next few days, and we're also going to go and check out the loot in Hangor, so be sure to come by and say hello. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!